13,121 SBA 1819. Uh, most likely November 2021 is probably more of a realistic one. Um, I, the May one, even if there's an expo, I still might be a bit hesitant to, to get like 60 or 100 people together. I just don't know if that's smart for us to actually do that, to be honest. We've got a future watch to $9.99 of Rupe Hints. And then I'm sure with the new world that we're going to live in, do I have to make it like, do you have to be tested to get in somehow? Like, how do I, how do I monitor that? Milestones of Keller for the Coyotes. And the other thing that might really suck is, will players want to actually do those events? Nino Niederreiter, Carolina Hurricanes. That's the other big thing that I don't know what players are going to be like. We've got Amantha Red for the Red Wings. Like, if I'm an older player who's going to a, an, a, an event to meet a whole bunch of random people, Milestones of Cole Chuck for the Jets. I don't know if I would want to do that, to be honest. Tomash Hurdle for the San Jose Sharks Red. Moments of McDavid for the Oilers. But I always appreciate feedback on everything. Spectrum for the Red Wings of Dylan Larkin. Oh, that's cool. We've got a sign of the times for the Maple Leafs. Larry Hillman. Nice inscription auto. Sign of the times. Larry Hillman. Yeah, the problem is, big hit, I would love to get younger players, but November they're all playing. <laughs> Not many players are going to want to take a Saturday night off to do that. Spectrum Future Watch, level three for the Flyers. Carter Hart. Um, do we have them? I think we have some, yeah. We should still have some left, Glenn, for sure. Colin Delia for the Chicago Blackhawks Young Guns. And we've got for the New Jersey Devils a 9-9, Michael McLeod. New Jersey Devils, Michael McLeod. We've got a retro rookie of Victor Arvidsson for the Preds. <laughs> They're also very expensive. Snow, uh, Colorado, Avalanche. Milestones of Sackett. Tanner Pearson for the Pittsburgh Penguins update. Upper Deck was doing a deal on those. It was $10 US a piece for them, which is actually a really good deal. Nick Schmaltz for the Coyotes update. We've got a Luongo moment for the Florida Panthers. I don't know if they still got it going on, but... We've got a moment of Darlene for the Buffalo Sabres. And we've got a Jack Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres Red. Yeah, you know what? As I said, it's I always number one. I love expos because I get to meet a lot of new people, and I really do appreciate meeting everyone. But I will tell you, Leon, the one thing that keeps my brain going all the time, I love it when I hear the most random stuff that you know is just complete BS. And it's like, I would love to know where rumors get started. Like, I really would love to know if it is a random person trying deliberately to do it or how does it get started. SP Essentials of Brad Marchand for the Boston Bruins. I just find it so funny. Moments of glass for the Vegas Golden Knights. Kind of like what, uh, who was it? Was it Justin who came in the room and said? Matthew Barzo for the Islanders. When you're talking about the guy who created the video. Like, I'm not trying to be rude in any sense. Yakov, Trennan, Young Guns for the Preds. But if you take plastic, plastic and you bend plastic, why are you surprised that it might break open? I, I don't even understand the logic of that. Why are you bending it? Tom Wilson for the Washington Capitals Limited. News alert, if I bend this cardboard, there might be a crease. Don't do it. We got a Chandler Stevenson for the Vancouver Canucks. 
But yeah, I don't know. Always find it funny. Moment of the Blue Jackets. We've got an update of Latang for the Pittsburgh Penguins. SP Essentials for the Penguins of Matt Murray. Gabriel Landeskog for the Avalanche. What is with the Leafs and inscribes right now? It's hilarious. Sign of the Times inscribed. Zach Hyman for the Maple Leafs. Two Sign of the Times inscribes for the Maple Leafs. That's kind of random. We've got an update of Blake Coleman for the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right, give me some other good topics, guys. I like this conversation. Spectrum for the Tampa Bay Lightning of Braden Point. We've got a French, our future icons of Lazat Bjornfot. Yeah, I do remember that. Was it Loonies or Toonies, though? I thought it was Toonies that happened, but yeah, I do remember that. Moment of Ovechkin for the Caps. Testing a theory out. Alex Tuck for the Vegas Golden Knights Red. And 999 Flurry. Yeah, that's hilarious though. But it's still one of those things like, why are you pushing on? Like, why are you doing that either way? Spectrum of Wheeler for the Jets. Like, the funny thing is, what I love about... Those kind of conversations. And a spectrum of Nicholas Hag, a uh, spectrum future watch of Hag for the Vegas Golden Knights. Is even so, I believe, and I might be wrong on this so you guys can correct me. I believe, does Becca not even offer that they will basically take another card, uh, company's card and cra like crack it themselves and regrade it? So clearly, every single company has a case that can get open. I don't know why that's a shock to anybody. Or, sorry, why that should be a shock to anybody. It is only plastic that's like sonic welding or whatever it's called or sonically sealed. I don't even know how to like what it is. But I don't know why it's a shock to anyone. Hollow effects of Tavares for the Islanders. I thought it was known that every grader could basically crack another person's case. Maybe I'm just wrong on that, but... We got a 999 Scott Parse for the LA Kings. Future Watch. We've got a almost faded redemption of Artem Anisimov. What team was he on uh, in 9 10 guys? Anisimov. Uh, they are, but I will be completely honest, at least from my point of view, Leon. I think KSA, oh sorry, I think MNT has pretty much destroyed them. Um, I'm trying to think of a nice way to put it, but maybe basically really put them down. SP Essentials, 1999 of uh, Mark Messier. The only thing I think that's saving KSA right now is their price point is very affordable for a lot of people. Like the thing is, a lot when people do grading, they look sometimes people look at $29 as a lot of money. And I think KSA sometimes offers like $10 or something. So it's a good option for them. And each mom was Rangers. Okay, thank you. But I will tell you, I they have I've seen a lot less of their stuff ever since MNT's come in, and significantly less in the last two years specifically. 1999 Essentials of Stastny for the Avalanche. Essentials of Aginla for the Calgary Flames. Alright, let me ask you guys this. Is there any questions? Oh my god, that's sick. Is there any questions in the hobby that you've always kind of wanted answered that I can maybe try to help out? Whether I can or not. We got a fun random. Between New... Or not New Jersey. Ottawa and Buffalo. Mike Felino and Nick Felino. Dual signature. Mike and Nick Felino. Obviously only questions that I can probably answer by the way. I don't want to have any like... Things that I should not be answering or whatever. 
Was there anything you guys ever maybe wondered or had a question on that I can maybe help you guys out with and keep the fun conversation going because I love it? Contrary to maybe what you guys think, I would rather have this kind of conversation every night than no conversation. It is extremely boring having no conversation. It's very unfun. I encourage you guys to talk to a computer to yourself for a couple hours and see if it's fun. You tend to lose interest. <laughs> they criticize the sun's penmanship. Uh, I think it's going to go down until he plays and we see how he plays. SP Essentials, 1999 of Vanek for the Buffalo Sabres. Why do some players? Because they don't care. They don't want the money. They don't care. 999 of Victor Oreskovic for the Florida Panthers. I can tell you that firsthand, Leon. I have literally seen and like been in the know on that. Hollow effects of Heatley for the Sharks. Players are flat out did not like wanting to sign. They just don't want to sign anymore. Future Watch Auto for the Nashville Predators, Cal O'Reilly. And again, I feel bad because Upper Deck gets this blame on that stuff. But I know for a fact I've had players literally be like, I don't want to sign anymore. I'm done. Like, And we've got base. There we go. The one double. Uh, I'll keep it in the same video at the end of this. I ran them off the double just so you guys know. So I'm going to get the random ready right now for it. Buffalo and Ottawa. Uno momento. All right. So here we go. Good luck. The one multi-random. The Nick and Mike Felino. Three times. One, two, three. Ottawa Senators. Congrats. 